building was existing, and what we did was we uh, retrofitted our exhaust system to uh, the new system. Uh, we started in about May, beginning of May, and it was almost finished about the end of August, and we had a few lingering issues we had to complete. Uh, and around the middle of September, it was completed fully. There was a few issues. One was energy, and the other was the actual smoke and extraction process the old system was inadequate in today's standards. So the, the new, new system came in and, and did a few things. It accomplished better ventilation for the instructors and, and students, and the, also the energy reduction by uh, savings of heating and, and other electrical issues. It is kind of like driving down the highway fixing your car at the same time. So we had uh, issues with certain sections of the ventilation was shut down and we would lose uh, a, a section of boost. So we were downsizing the amount of available teaching area and uh, we had to juggle those with the shifts. Because we are open, we could juggle the shifts with, with the amount of uh, boost available. So that was a bit of a challenge. Uh, we also have areas outside and inside, so we were shifting students around and moving things around. That was a big challenge. All the gases that are generated by any process could be considered toxic. We have a shield metal arc welding, gas metal arc welding, uh, gas tungsten arc welding, flux core arc welding. All these processes are done and varying degrees of smoke are generated by each process and very varying degrees of particulates in the air. We also have a grinding room which is dust particles and, and other issues we have to deal with. So every process has a potentially dangerous environment, which we, like I say, teach the students about personal protective equipment and also the ventilation in general. When we talk about welders, we have about 9,000, give or take a little bit across the province. Very, very important to this economy. And as you see, the, the economy in this province is getting better and better. Welders are going to be a very much a critical part of that. BCIT has been a leader. Uh, across across Canada as, as training out individuals that, that when they graduate they get a job. They, they are one of the leading providers of training in Canada for that. You know, we're, we're in the welding facility right now where we've upgraded the, uh, the air system so such that the students, the faculty and then staff have the cleanest, safest environment possible at the same time providing significant energy savings. So uh, the province of British Columbia put in about 2.7 million dollars to upgrade the ventilation system here for, for all the welding stations. That alone is going to save 100 $25,000 a year in energy savings over the current system and the equivalent is you know the savings are, are the equivalent of over 40 houses a year you know, the electrical costs and over 140 apartments uh, would use the same amount of natural gas that's saved by this upgrade so uh, you know this 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 institution is so important in, in training welders uh, there's about 9,000 in British Columbia give or take a few here and there and they're going to be required in every single industry all across British Columbia.